the AC and um, the microwave stopped working in our room. So we are getting an upgrade. So a quick hack and then we're moving to a different floor and they're giving us a bigger room as well. It's a much, much, much bigger room with a lot of sitting area and a big table and chairs, a proper table and chairs, similar size kitchen setup. I think the sink is a little bit smaller than the downstairs one. Storage space and a separate bedroom. Same style but a lot bigger room for hanging spaces and rows. The bathroom is set out a little bit differently and feels a bit smaller than the one before. But it's got plenty of space nonetheless. We have balconies on both sides. This side is the city. This is where we take uh, trams to go into the city. We found uh, another an issue with this room as well. I've never seen this before, but this balcony is shared with the room next door. So we couldn't really, we wouldn't really be able to leave our door open in case somebody from that room decides to just walk into ours. And to top it all up, the guy next door is a smoker. So we couldn't even leave the door open on a latch so that the, the window bit is open. So they're going to change our room and they said that it's not ready yet so you guys can go out and when you come back it'll be ready and then you can move in this room they'll just leave um, because they're not fully booked so it's alright. So we'll head out now. We'd wanted to take a tram called Retro. I think it's um, an old style tram. Um, that they have um, for tourists. So it only runs in summer and it only runs a few times a day. So because of um, our room move and everything, we missed that one. But we realized that it, there's one coming, going the other way. So we came a couple of stops um, on, on number 11 and now we're going to go the other way to take the retro just to, for the experience of it. Riga's buildings are are beautiful, the architecture is so awesome. Um, even the ones that are, haven't been renovated look so nice and everywhere there's some sort of renovation work going on. change our room after we had a quick lunch another room hopefully this one is a good one bathroom is the smallest one we've seen so far it's got seating space it's got the kitchen salad bowls I like these salad bowls she's long instead of the sofa and a big bedroom oh, we have two two balcony one Juliet balcony and at least this time it's our private balcony and nobody's going to be popping into our room to say hi. 
and because there's separators, hopefully nobody's smoke smell is going to come into our balcony either. And we have a nice view of the city from here too. Everywhere you go in Riga, there's beautiful buildings, one more than the other. And you can't help but stop and take loads and loads of photos. Even the old ones that haven't been renovated have quite a charm of their own. We're at the doorstep of the Art Nouveau Museum and there was tons and tons of people coming to see it. One lady was in her wheelchair and this place is not really wheelchair accessible as such, but she got off her wheelchair and tried to come up the steps so that she can go on, go in and see. So my husband thought there must be something really special to this place. So we have to come and see it. So we're going to see the museum first. private section of the park and it was here where the owners of the flat enjoyed the peace after a day of tension and hard work. The 1903 interior of the room has been restored. The reddish brown tone of the walls have been reapplied. The flat of the wall is divided into two sections, one darker and one lighter. Tile wool made of white and blue tile. 
has the work alongside the stool, painting the velvet tiles, showing young girl shepherd geese. Shepherding is first half of the 20th century Savoy, though the metal band in the niche has been preserved since the renovation of the kitchen, which was done around 1910. Alongside the maid's room was a pantry, mm -hmm. sometimes known as the cold room, where people kept jars of jam, pots of fat, boxes of apple, etc. Some of the old shelves in the pantry are the originals. Having a maid was a key element in the life of people from the civil society. Her room was usually at the kitchen, small and poorly lit. The room usually had nothing more than a basic bed, a wardrobe, a sewing machine. Look at the chandelier, it's the plainest one. A flush toilet appeared in Western Europe in the 19th century and at the very beginning of the 20th century. The Jackson Co. company in Riga was advertising a bathroom set with a toilet and a bidet. A proper flush toilet became an absolute necessity in the modern time. abandoned our self-walking tour and stopped at Narvison. Um, they had offer of um, coffee and cake. The one coffee and cake is nearly finished. That's two euros. And I wanted to get a salad, but I spotted that um, with the salad, they make it a, a meal. The salad itself was like two euros something, but you can have a drink and an ice cream for three euros. So it's a bit try their local ice cream because it's not you know, it's just specific ice cream to them and it's uh, vanilla ice cream. There was the um, option of vanilla or cherry so I went with the safe option of vanilla. It's a uh, corn ice cream with the vanilla ice cream filling. Oh well, it's ice cream. The salad's pretty nice and the pastry is very good as well. But there wasn't any fork available. I thought I eat with noodles and eat with chopsticks as well, so I got two of the sticks and I'm going to use them as chopsticks to try to eat the salad. We're in Riga and you're buying salad, you just know that they put their forks at the bottom. When I got to the bottom of the salad, I saw the fork, but it got me good chopsticks practice again. And it was very tasty salad. Um, by the way, we are at Narvison and you can't go very far without seeing a Narvison. So it's a, it's a very easy place to find. We've taken tram number one and come all the way out to the edge of um, Riga. Lots of uh, Soviet style buildings here. When we travel, especially in European countries, we like to do that. Um, take a take a public transport and um, keep going until it goes to the end, and then come back to the city center. It shows the different life that is outside of city center. Because outside is all nice and pretty and touristy. So um, when you come out, you see the real life, how people live. We 
we picked up some more of uh, Rumi's half price pastries that they make half price after 9 o'clock. We got some to have as a snack before going to bed and we um, got some for breakfast as well. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is how you travel on a budget to make your money last longer. And tomorrow we'll go on a proper walking tour. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night.